Good morning, everybody. How are you, dear friends? Today, we are going to talk about uh, integration by trigonometric substitution. Uh, so let me share my computer screen with you. Find the indefinite integral using substitution x is equal to 5 second theta. You know something, I forgot to write the problem itself, which is Integration of 1 divided by square root of x square minus 25 dx. So we will do this integration by do, uh, using the trigonometric substitution x is equal to 5 secant of theta. Okay. So that is the problem. <clears throat> so uh, we can write a uh, solution. Let x is equal to five second theta. This is a substitution we have been asked to do. So if we do the differentiation on both sides dx is equal to 5 second theta tangent of theta d theta. Okay. So, if I draw the picture of the right angle triangle, it will look like this. And this side is, this angle is theta. Okay, this side is 5, this side is x, and this is square root of x square minus 25 from Pythagorean theorem. Since x square is equal to square root, square x square is equal to square of this side plus 25. Therefore, uh, if we transpose, then uh, this side becomes is equal to square root of x square minus 25. So, uh, root of square root of x square minus 25 is equal to 5 tangent of theta. Why? Because tangent of theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side, which is opposite side is uh, square root of x square minus 25. Okay, and what is adjacent side is 5. So, therefore, if you multiply by 5 on both sides, 5 tangent of theta is equal to square root x square minus 25. Okay, so now let's do the integration. So, we have been asked to integrate 1 divided by square root of x square minus 25, which is square root dx which can be written as uh, for square root of x square uh, uh, minus 25, we can write 5 tangent of theta. And for dx, we can write 5 second theta tangent of theta 
and then d theta. Okay, so this tangent of theta cancels with this tangent of theta, this 5 cancels with this 5 and we are left with integration of secant of theta d theta. Okay, now if I move this a little bit up and create some space. So integration of secant theta d theta is equal to ln of <coughs> secant theta absolute value secant theta plus tangent of theta plus c okay now from the triangle secant theta is 1 over cosine theta cosine theta is itself uh, is equal to 5 over x adjacent side by hypotenuse and so secant theta will be uh, x over 5 the opposite inverse so ln secant theta is x over 5 and what is tangent theta is opposite side by adjacent side square root of x square minus 25 divided by x plus c okay so the whole thing is divided by 5 so by it should be 5 not x so let me make that correction by not by hypotenuse by adjacent side so it will be 5 okay so this becomes ln absolute value x minus ln 5 plus ln absolute value x square minus 25 my and then it becomes minus and minus it will be plus ln 5 plus c so ln 5 is just a const constant which cancels out and then that becomes <laughs> actually i should not do this take Now, ln of 5, uh, 5 in the denominator is just a constant, okay, which can be become a part of the integration constant. So, this becomes ln of x plus square root of x square minus 25 plus c you ask where did the 5 in the denominator go ln of 5 being a constant okay that will become a part of the integration constant okay so this is your final answer If you have any question or comment, write me a note. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And you can contact me by email at sn underscore 88 at hotmail.com. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. Take care.